Greetings. Our briefing is dedicated to exposing the lies and propaganda thrown in of the aggressor state. We begin our briefing with the publication of the official state media of the aggressor state, Russia Today. This resource published an article confirming the thesis that Russia is carrying out the genocide of the Ukrainian people and is waging a post-colonial war of contests against Ukraine. So what publication was published on Russia Today? This article directly questions the right of existence of the Ukrainian nation, the Ukrainian language and Ukrainian culture. Quote, the Ukrainian language is part of Russian culture, exactly like the Crimean Tatar. According to the author of publication on the Russia state media resource, Ukrainians so violently abandoned their roots, inventing a non-existent nation and history, so strongly imposed their own language that they lost everything – language, culture and faith. Why is it important to pay attention to this article? Because it can confirms what the Ukrainian authorities have been talking about for more than a month. The task of Russia is the destruction of the Ukrainian nation as such. This is genocide in its purest form, and Russian and state propagandists confirm this. Russia in its usual style attributes non-existent military achievements, but as always they increase the number of killed Ukrainian soldiers defending the Ukrainian state. But they do not suffer the losses that the Russian state lie machine propagandizes. So so what the aggressive state reports, I quote, The point of temporary deployment of the tactical group of the 95th Airborne Assault Brigade in Slovyansk was hit by highly accurate weapons. Over 100 Ukrainian servicemen were killed. I personally contacted the servicemen of the 95th Brigade who openly laughed at such messages from the Ministry of Defense of Russia. This information is nonsense, lies, untruth. The report about the losses suffered by the 93rd Holodny Yar Brigade are also lies. This is reported by the Ministry of Defense of the same Russia. I quote, In the area of the settlement of Kostyantinivka, concentrated fire strikes inflicted a defeat on the points of deployment of units of the 93rd Mechanized Brigade. Up to 120 militants were eliminated and 11 units of military vehicles were destroyed. This is a lie. This information is not true. Why is it broadcast at all? In order to maintain this fake fighting spirit within Russia itself, because more and more Russians, especially in Moscow and St. Petersburg, are asking the question, why is Russia participating in this war? I have already repeatedly quoted Russian propagandists who are outraged by how residents of large cities ignore and do not support the military personnel of the aggressor country, do not donate money, do not glorify them. And they have an ordinary lifestyle sitting in restaurants and entertainment centers. I have to pay attention to the don't write funny message of the Russian minister Ministry of Defense. Their speaker Konoshenko speaks at his traditional briefing with the background of a map of Ukraine, where it is reported that 44 units of HIMARS MLRS were allegedly destroyed by the Russian aggressor. I can only joke about the fact that the Russian occupiers continue to destroy wooden replicas at an accelerated pace as the international media have already written about. When they perceive wooden replicas that only resemble these MLRS as real targets. Another lie is a message on the channel of the propagandist Solovyov with reference to the words of the head of the radiation, chemical and biological defense forces of the Russian armed forces, Kirillov. He is lying to the whole world that Kyiv has asked the drone manufacturer by Raktar to equip the drones with tools for spraying chemical substances. This is a lie, a continuation of the Russian propaganda narrative that Ukraine is allegedly developing chemical weapons and is allegedly going to use these weapons to strike the occupied territories. In recent days there have also been reports in the Russian media about the destabilization of the situation on the territory of Moldova. In particular, Russia uses a post of the Gagauz people that they are dissatisfied with the actions of the Moldovan authorities. The goal is clear. If it was not possible to destabilize the political situation in Ukraine, then they are trying to set this fire in Moldova, so that it then spreads to the territory of Ukraine. We wish the neighboring state stability and resistance to the aggressors' attempts to sow despair within the country of Moldova. Well, unfortunately, we end the briefing with the words that some messages of Ukrainian politicians and military personnel are used by the aggressor state in order to promote its narratives. In particular, it refers to the interview of the General Krivonos, as it were, the Ukraine's losses in the war against Russia, as quoted by Russian propagandists, are measured in hundreds of thousands of killed. Such 
propagandists as Solovyov, Besono and so on, spread the message about this to their multi-million audience. We call again and again, regardless of party affiliation, regardless of sympathies or antipathies to the Ukrainian authorities, to refrain from spreading those messages that firstly do not correspond to reality and secondly help the aggressor state in its international propaganda to maintain fighting spirit as well as to sow despair among Ukrainians. Traditionally, we urge you not to trust Russian propagandists but to trust the Ukrainian armed forces, which, by the way, report that 50,000 Russian servicemen, aggressors on the territory of Ukraine, have already been eliminated. Trust the military and political leadership of Ukraine. Goodbye. До зустрічі.